Hi, this is Michael from Kayak Flangler. Uh, I had a reader or viewer write in and ask me how I built my um, uh, Hobie Kayak rod holder. Um, I use this particular rod holder because I'm able to use the existing rod holder um, holes that are in the, in the uh, kayak and I didn't have to actually drill any more holes into my kayak to put this particular rod holder on. So um, first off, I use a, uh, a Scotty rod holder. Um, you can buy these, they're pretty standard. Uh, the nice thing about these, a lot of kayak guys use them, or kayak anglers use them, because you can mount them either vertical or horizontal and they still work quite fine. Um, you can tell, sit in here, and you turn them around, and then that way you can uh, just adjust them quite easily. For my rod holder, first off I start with obviously the Scotty holder. Um, then I have a couple different pieces. Um, I am using three or four different pieces depending on how it works out. First off I have a T that is right here. Um, I have another section that hooks into the T like this. And then I have another section of PVC here and then I have two more sections of PVC on either ends of the T. And then um, I have a bolt that runs through this particular piece here with some U bolts. Um, and they, what that does is it holds the, uh, those end pieces in there and it keeps the, um, the holder from moving around too much while it's uh, on the kayak. Um, the sizes of the, uh, the PVC. I use a three quarter inch white, that's this size here. And then this is a one inch size. And what happens is, I'm not sure I can take this out, I think I was actually gluing this, but here's a one inch piece and here's a three quarter inch piece and they'll actually slide into one another very tightly, which helps a lot. Um, I never did bring it all the way to the end. I'm not sure if that was, uh, I don't know why I did that, but um, if you want some additional stability, I would suggest uh, bringing it all the way to the top of this particular piece. And then when it hooks into the T, then uh, that way you would have this additional stability here. Now, the next piece, once I put this, this piece here, this three quarter into the one inch, put it into the T, and then I take this, uh, which I believe must be a one and a half, slide that over, and then that actually slides over the T itself. And then I screw in two screws, and then that provides the outer area. This is actually the piece that sits into the kayak. And then I have a piece of, uh, it's not quite felt, it's something you would use underneath um, your furniture if you were putting it onto a wood floor and you wanted to uh, slide it around. That provides just enough uh, diameter and width so that when it does fit into the kayak hole it's tight uh, and doesn't move around too much. Otherwise if you use this size here which is probably about a one and a quarter it will slop around and that's not really what I was looking for. Um, so those are those two pieces. Now I'm going to get a little bit more into this area up here uh, I have a U-bolt that goes around these two pieces here of the, uh, the three-quarter inch that goes into the T. So I have a U-bolt here and I have a U-bolt here. There's only one size of U-bolt that will fit this. It comes up through this section of the, uh, the Scotty. It it's fits quite nicely. You crank down the bolts. That's, the, that's a little trickier. I had to actually use a screwdriver and kind of twist them over. And then I literally cut them off at the top so that it, uh, they're not sticking up. And then from there, I, uh, I tape it up. I use a, a electrician's tape, just like this. And uh, just go ahead and uh, cover those bolts up. And then I also grind them down. Take this here off. Uh, another thing that I do for added stability is I actually put a screw through the Scotty holder and into this part of the PVC. That adds even more stability. Um, it seems like a lot of work, 
to go through so that uh, you don't have to cut any holes into your kayak. Uh, but the nice thing is that I can take this, this rod holder, and I can put it in any one of the four holes that are designed for rods on the Hobie. There's one in the, you know, obviously in the front left, front right, rear right and left as well. Uh, that way I can just put it wherever I want to. Um, it seems to work really well and, and that way if I had two or three of these I could have multiple rods going out the side and it would uh, probably work fairly well. So anyway, that's pretty much what I have done for, uh, for this rod holder. Um, it obviously will handle any kind of trout. I've not run into any problems and I've uh, had it, if you've seen some of my videos, um, I uh, use it for sturgeon. It seems to hold up very well for that. And salmon and even I haven't gotten the opportunity to actually have a real solid takedown by a salmon but uh, hope springs eternal and uh, I'm expecting that this will be able to hold up so um, that's what I do for the rod holder uh, thanks for writing in um, and if you have any other questions or I can provide any more assistance or if you have some tips let me know uh, this is Michael from kayak fly angler go farther catch more